welcome to the San Siro here in Milan. Home to both AC Milan and Internazionale and the venue for the 2016 Champions League final. The teams then, AC Milan against Villarreal. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beckley. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. Christian Zapata. Mech says. Zapata. Forward it goes. Looks to slip it through. Soldado plays it out to the wing. Can he find a finish now? He slid it through. Really didn't have enough to concern the defence. Menez. What a charge down the left. And it's Soldado. On the side, especially adventurous early on. Little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. I thought it was good vision, but the execution was poor. Montalivo. Mex says. Dabati. Tries to get it forward quickly. First quarter of an hour gone. Midway through the first half, and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern, and, and probably most of the stadium too. Let's just hope that by the end, it'll have been forgotten. Goal, Milan! With time and space of plenty, he was never going to miss. Carlos Baca has been menacing, and when you get a defence that's beginning to look a little bit disjointed, then he's exactly the type of character that's going to punish you, and he did exactly that. Milan break the deadlock. Listen, it's no surprise to me as to who scored the goal. When you look through this team, he's the standout performer with a, a whole repertoire of different talents. He'll do for me every time. Bonaventura. Milan oh, very much in charge here, dominating possession and a goal to the good. Carlos Baca. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Milan got lucky. They have escaped lightly. Demanding a quick ball here. He's made sure that that won't get through. Antonelli pumps it upfield, cuts it out. So they got the only goal to make it 1 0. It's come loose. Christian Zapata hoops it upfield. Back up. Antonelli lobs it in gently. Now the pass. Honda. And it's Abate. Bonaventura. Into the channel. Abate crosses it in low. Danger averted for now. Balls out on the left now. So what now? And the flag has stayed down. And Soldado! Just as well, the defender was on hand to mop up the loose ball. out to the wing.
In the end, they found themselves penned in, nowhere to go. Bonaventura. Honda. Back up. Antonelli. Can he finish? Just off target. Well, for me, he had a very decent crack at it, but it has to be said that the odds on those from distance were never really that good, and you'd always favour the keeper in that instance. Well positioned to make that interception. Honda. Antonelli. And it's Baca. Carlos Baca with the ball through. He's managed to get himself offside. And it's the whistle for half time. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Milan, the happier of the teams, heading in for half time, 1 0 up. Milan carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Bonaventura. Antonelli. Soldado. Is on the back foot. Fine defending there. Knocks it towards the front. Carlos Baca needed to come up with a better ball. Look, if he wants that ball to make it, then he has to pass it with a bit more zip. I think he knew as soon as it left his boot, it was going to be cut out. Just lacked a little more power. And it's Soldado. A real chance to break. Another piece of really good defending. Milan somehow escaped the danger. That was a tight call, though. Menez. Montalivo. Menez. Defending there, and it's Menes. Tries one, goes for goal. He's got away with one there. Abate has been full of enthusiasm and desire, and his work rate has been very strong. And he's, he's clever and been able to read the game almost a step ahead of everyone else. That's great play. Milan had to make a change here. Honda Abate Bonaventura Carlos Baca and the finish just wouldn't stay down for him the quicker an attacker gets the ball under control the more time he creates for himself that was very neat and tidy to set up the shot Well waited. He's been taken out. Could that be a penalty? And the referees decided that he was fouled outside the box, and it is just a free kick. When you're on the training pitch, you see players knocking free kicks in from all angles, but this is when you're really tested. This is delivery time now. This certainly looks appetizing, well within shooting range. He's had a crack. That was travelling. Antonelli. Honda. And it's Bonaventura. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. 
you have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing but instead he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here Honda back up the party Honda Antonelli the Bati now it's Bonaventura Carlos Baca oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger tries a through ball now here's the through ball it's a very good battle there terrific to watch Soldado. In for a header! That's gone a long way up and away. Throw it. Spoon forward. Menes. Passes it through. Pretty robust, but the referee says no foul. Another piece of really good defending. Milan can get themselves very lucky there. They look fragile. Looks like a good ball through. Shakes the shoots. Really well taken goal. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, the big question now is whether they can keep the energy levels up and try and grab a winner. Menes crosses in a low one. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. And he's going to have his name taken. He does seem to be in considerable discomfort. Do hope it's nothing serious. Very little time to go, and they have a free kick in a really promising area. Oh, that's a waste. I think they need to be more direct now and just start getting the ball forward. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Looks to slip it through. This official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. The batty. Aim forward. Carlos Baca. Shots on. Whistle's gone and they've got themselves a free kick. whistle is imminent but I do think he'll allow time for this free kick well it's a little further out than he'd like so he might just consider his options with this free kick Honda oh nearly that nearly is nothing well to be honest I thought it was a good enough effort to go in only for the post to get in the way I mean this game can be very tough on you at times So that's it, it is all over. Well, a game that had everything except a winner. Really watchable and honours even. So what do you take away from it all, Jim?